the mass one AH coming at you through your glowing screens via YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Our Road to Infinity War. On this episode, we'll talk about Thor Ragnarok. Before I go in, if you could hear that, there are workers working outside, there's a drill, so I apologize. I'm trying to speak a little louder so that you, you know, it's not drowning my voice out. Uh, hopefully you guys can still hear me and it makes and it doesn't take away from uh, this review. What did I think about Thor Ragnarok? I thought that it was amazing. It was the most fun I've had at a MCU film. It is the most one of the most immersive experiences. I forgot that I was watching the movie. I was sitting there and it was extremely enjoyable. Backstory to that, to the first time I watched Thor Ragnarok, I was at a um, Kids Bay movie theater and some kids pulled the fire alarm and we had to evacuate the theater. Uh, this was about one third of the way through the film and it was very upsetting because like I, I feel like all of us were really into the film and then we had to leave. Not, not many people left. We all waited until we were able to go back into the theater. Once we got back into the theater, we sat down and continued to enjoy the movie. Then the fire fire alarm was triggered again. And this time we didn't have to evacuate. We just sat there, but it was, you know, like nobody left. We all just sat there and, and enjoyed the film because it was that good. Uh, the action scenes are awesome. The, the, the interactions between Hulk and Thor are, are awesome. I feel like Chris Hemsworth did a really phenomenal job as as Thor in this film. He just seemed to be able to carry the the film on his shoulders a lot better than the previous installments. Uh, Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster, like you you can anybody ever say anything bad about Jeff Goldblum? I mean, come on, let's keep it real. Valkyrie was was like everybody was good even even the director Ta taika watiti um like even as his his character i think it was his name was korg like was funny like this funny this movie this movie was funny it was it was humorous i laughed all the way through and you know like when it comes to humor and, and the mcu like it's touch and go uh but a lot of the the, the humor hit in in this film uh, probably the funniest film in all of all of the films uh, by the Mar by Marvel Studios. Um, Hella, played by Kate Blanchett, I really liked her her portrayal. I I would have I hope that she's not dead because I think that she's like she's a real formidable opponent. And I would really just like to see more of her as the villain. So I hope she wasn't one off like many other villains, but we didn't really see her die. She's just fighting um, that big guy, you know, um, that big fire guy. So, I mean, all in all, like this, this film, like I can't, I can either sit here, I can either, I, I, well, no, I'm not sitting, but I can either stand here and just, basically tell you man this you know this film is great and this is why and just go over on a list but i'd be here for like a half an hour to like you know two hours because that's how good this film is that's how fun this film is that's how immersed this film makes you feel um and in my in in my book it's it's definitely top five in terms of if i had to rank the marvel cinematic universe films definitely in the top five uh, so I highly recommend this, this film. I think it's, it's, it's great, fun, funny. Uh, it's, it has heart. you know, Mark Ruffalo is the Hulk is in this and they, it's just a, a really, a really, really great, uh, movie and I highly recommend it and, and it, as I said in a, in a previous video, Infinity War is right around the corner. I'm really excited. And uh, stay tuned for the next installment of A Road to Infinity War, which will be the last installment in this series. 
after that, I will start a new series. Uh, I haven't really thought of the name yet, but it will basically be regarding the Infinity War films and and beyond. So, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp and whatever other films come out. So as always, positive vibes to you and yours, the masked one, A.H.